started teaching Pharaoh hold and drop, and this is very important. I think every dog should learn how to do this. Pharaoh's a four-year-old Maltese, and he's going to learn how to do this. He'll be able to pick up a dumbbell, and he's small enough. I, I, I think he'll probably pick up reading glasses, maybe keys. Um, that's my guess, but the first thing that we're going to do is we need him to hold this in his mouth. And this, this, this is what I use, either uh, a square one or a round one. Don't use a stick. Okay, this isn't a stick. This is something that I bought at a hardware store. It doesn't have bark on it. And when you first start doing that, we're not giving the dog an option, by the way. We're not, we're not saying, do you want to hold this? No, we're just putting it in the dog's mouth and getting them used to having it in his mouth and encouraging them to hold it. And they're trying to spit it out. At times we put a little pressure on the upper snout and there's a little divot here. Very light pressure. If you're trying to force him to hold it, that's not gonna work. That'll make it like the opposite. So they'll really try and spit it out. But they all try and spit it out at first. And you wanna keep your sessions real short. And we've been doing real short sessions. And I've got him to the point where like, we'll kind of hold it in his mouth and it's not as much pressure from me. Like, you know, I'm not trying as hard to keep it in his mouth. He is spitting it out. He will still spit it out. First, you get them to accept it, right? where they'll hold it. Then you have to get them to take it and hold it. Then you have to get them to take it off the ground and hold it. And at that point, they're doing a retrieve. They're not doing a good, but I, I guarantee you that there's people that look at these early videos on teaching hold and drop, and they're like, oh, look, the dog doesn't like doing it. Yes, yeah, so what? I'm teaching the dog something that the owner and the dog, they can use it for the rest of the dog's life. And it's something that the dogs like to do. This is how it is when you first, they don't know what's going on. So you're just putting the object in their mouth. So they, they look a little bit uh, trepidatious about the whole thing. But by the end, Bella's wagging her tail doing retrieves now. You know, they'll all start out like this, like, uh, you know, I'm not so sure. And then they figure out, oh, we're doing retrieves. This is awesome. So to do this, when at first I put the dog in a high collar, see this, this leash going up, right? And there's, um, if, you if you take the lips and just light pressure on, on the canines here, right? You can just open up their mouth real easy. Just kind of fold the lips in. Also, there's a little divot under here. We have it too. So when it's in their mouth, if you put a little light pressure, that helps keep the head up and keeps them from spitting it out. But if they spit it out, put it right back in, right? You're a good boy. Here, hold. Now, see, he's, he's still not accepting. Hold. Very light pressure. Hold, 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 hold. There. Drop. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You'll see it. At times, they're trying to spit it out, and then at times, there's, you know, you know you'll see. I, I don't care if they mouth it a little bit at first. When they're learning to retrieve, there is no mouthing of it. But at first, if they want to put some pressure on this with their teeth, that's why I'm using pine. You know? Right? You're a good boy. So keep the sessions real short. And each, each session you do with the dog teaching hold, they start doing it more and more. And then all of a sudden, it's in their mouth and you're backing away with your hands and they're holding it. Good boy. This is gonna, it takes, this takes longer than anything that I teach the dogs to do. Retrieving, it's a series of steps. And this is a very difficult thing for a dog to do. It's like, learn that they have to put this in their mouth and hold it. It's just how it is. Don't give them the option, just start putting it in there. Just keep the sessions real short and, you know, do them multiple during the day. It helps to put the dog up on a table. You can use a flat butt bed of a truck you know so it's easier because they're spitting it out so you have to like pick it back up and get it back in there as quick as possible once once this dog starts holding it like this then then we'll go over using a little little ear pressure which i don't do the ear pinch i just sort of like use a little pressure when i'm saying hold like this like i'm doing the pressure right now it's similar to like if somebody grabs your arm, you can feel that they're grabbing your arm and then you can feel that they're letting go. So I'm annoying, I say hold, 
It goes in his mouth. I stop being annoyed. We'll go, we'll go over that. You know, I have so many videos on this. I've taught so many dogs to retrieve. You know, I, I've got, I've got a, got a lot of, a lot of dogs under my belt doing this. So I'm gonna do it a little bit more since we're here. Okay, Pharaoh, good boy. Hold. No, hold. 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 No, hold. 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 Drop. That was awesome, dude. That was really good. You are all. It's doing good. We'll do it one more time and then we'll come back. He's, you'll, you'll see each session you do. The first time you do it, Bowser's one of the few dogs, you know, recently that just instantly took it. You know, he's going for it as a, as a very young puppy. That's, that's a rarity. All dogs, it's sort of like you put it in the mouth and they start spitting it out. They don't want to do it. Ike was like Bowser. Tonka was pretty much like that too. Hold. No, hold. Hold, 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 drop. Good boy. Good boy. Go get it. He's awesome. Take your time teaching hold and drop. Be thorough like with everything. Don't go too fast. You're going to spend a minimum of three weeks to a month on this. A minimum. And then it, you know, goes into something else, more, more advanced stuff. Like Bella right now, she's, she's holding... Uh, we're getting her to hold reading classes. You're a good boy, Pharaoh.